How did you get into this field? Some of you may know, a lot of you may not know. Uh, my first job when I left school was to be a professional footballer. So I was very blessed to be able to do something that I love to do um, and then turn it into a profession. Most people don't get the chance to do that, whether they're an artist, a singer, um, footballer, an athlete, whatever. They don't get a chance to actually, they might enjoy doing it and carry on doing it when they've left school, but the, most of us don't get the chance to actually turn that into their their profession full time. So I was very blessed to be able to do that. Um, but then at the age of 27, which is probably the height of a professional footballer's career, um, I ruptured my Achilles. Um, and it was from then meeting various consultants that I, that I saw. And then after I got my Achilles um, repaired, etc., I then got back into the game and carried on for another four or five years, but not at the same level. And I get getting other injuries and what have you. And that, that sent me on a journey into the health profession on how we physically, how we work. But then that went on to how we work as um, emotionally and, and mentally that aspect of what, what it has to, um, uh, to affect us. So from there, and originally that, I'm going back pre pre internet or pre pre mobile phones. So I had a, an opportunity to uh, to read books. Uh, I know that's a bit strange for people now, but I actually read books on this subject. Uh, I then went even went to physical meetings, uh, both in this country and around the world especially over to the States, East Coast, West Coast, in Europe, um, uh, in this country, and met a lot of people on all the different modalities of how we perform as human beings. Physically perform, because I've worked with the, the top, some of the top movement coaches in the business. Um, you know, one of my good friends was the former senior sprints coach for the UK athletics in the Beijing Olympics taught, uh, helped before that helped uh, Linford Christie um, with some advice to him uh, to Linford and his coach get a gold medal. Um, and it was, it was really enlightening to work with some of the top people. I, I had the opportunity to work with a, one of the top men in America who was the, uh, who had helped a lot of American sports uh, stars, basketball, baseball, American football, the big three um, sports in America. Um, but also he, he happened to be Joan Collins's personal manager for many years and taught us some of the, um, some of the techniques to achieve ultimate performance and perform under pressure um, to get results in health, career stroke wealth, and relationships. What I found is that people want to know the theory and the, and the science and uh, everything behind how some things work, but really they want the practical, they want the end result. Because as, I've, as you see there, it's a results business. So then how did you make the switch from, obviously you've got a, a, a very strong pedigree, very strong background in professional sports. How did you then make the switch from sports and uh, the sports world into the business world with this? When I finished football and I was forced because I couldn't, I wasn't fit enough to get another contract in my early thirties. I had to then, my trans first transformation was to be a, a financial advisor. Because at school, I'd, as I've just said, I did have an A-level in physics, but I also had an A-level in maths. So the one thing that I could do at school, besides kick a bag of wind about, and, and I, was, I loved the other, all other sports, was to, um, I, could add, I could add up, and I was fairly logical because of the, the disciplines that I've been shown in the science, um, the sciences, both physics and chemistry. Um, 
about how things worked and how you had to um, test various things out. Um, and the big thing was that um, the the teachers at my school um, were on your case if you didn't ask questions, not the fact that you that you got things right, that you didn't ask questions, because they were always questioning you, always testing you, which was a really good. Um, so the the one thing that, and I say to people, the one thing that is really important is that um, we have to. I was I was blessed to go to a school where I was taught how to think, not what to think. And that's what I say to everybody now. Question the my big my opening. Um, my opening line on most, not every, but most of my um, my chats, my conversations, my lectures uh, is beliefs lead to thoughts and thoughts lead to words and words lead to actions. And actions over a period of time form our habits because we're creatures of habits as human beings. Habits form our character and our character gives us our destiny and the results in everything that we get because it's a results business in our health, in our career stroke wealth and our relationships of every kind. 